That first sip of coffee every morning is the best. It's like when the coffee just hits your taste buds, it's just like a big explosion of, I don't even know, but it, I just freaking love coffee. I check out this cool mug that someone sent me. Look at this, it says Frenchy Dad, and it's got Philly's name right there. I love it, I use it every day. So today, while I'm recording this, it's February 11th, but when you're watching it, it's gonna be like the 16th. So today on the 11th, we got a big day. Um, I need some headshots done, Philly needs some headshots done. So we're gonna head downtown, we're gonna go to a studio. It's just gonna be us there, so um, we're gonna take some pictures and I'm gonna bring you guys along for the ride and I'm gonna tell you guys why you guys should get a French Bulldog because let's be honest, these guys are amazing. Fully is amazing and I know that because I hear from you guys. <laughs> but anyways, if you guys are still looking for a French Bulldog or considering it, this is gonna be a wicked video for you guys to uh, stay tuned in on. Let's not waste any time and let's get right into it because I got a few more things to do with them before we go downtown, so let's go. Hopefully you guys could see me because I have never in my life dropped my camera, like ever. It just happened for the first time and I nearly had a heart attack. So hopefully the autofocus is still working, I'm still in focus, you guys can see me. French Bulldogs make fantastic apartment dogs, condo dogs. If you live in a small space, um, it is the perfect breed for that. I'm sure you guys tuned in by now, like I don't have a massive place. Um, I maybe have like eight, 850 square feet, which is plenty for um, me and Fuli. He pretty much sleeps all day. He doesn't need a whole lot of space to run around. They're not super high energy like some of the other uh, larger breeds like a husky or german shepherd or um i don't know like any of those like hunting dogs um those are the ones that are coming to mind off the top of my head but um they do very well in smaller spaces so if you're transitioning from you know a larger house to uh, say a condo um have no fear because they do really well in small spaces us moving into like a smaller like you know condo it wasn't uh, you know it was it was great yeah he adjusted very well um he's very happy with uh you know the space that we have right now um but yeah we're working towards getting a bigger spot and Hopefully that's gonna happen in 2021. Um, you know, it's still January 2020, just kind of messed everything up for everyone, including myself. But anyways, uh, what time is it? Okay, it's like almost noon. I gotta get going because I have so much to do and I barely even started this video. But anyways, uh, let's go. Oh, look at him, he's taking a dump right now. I'm so proud of him. Good job, buddy. All right, let's get out of here. All right, so before we go anywhere else, I need to get some coffee because it's 12 o'clock and I can feel my brain starting to shut off. So let's go do that. Nope, nope, that's not gonna work. All right. One of the other things that I love about having a Frenchie and having Fully with me is that I don't have to let 
him affect my ability to travel and do the things that I love to do, like going camping, doing road trips. Um, you know, if I want to bring him with me to go see my parents, you know, he usually tags along. I usually either have him sitting in the front or in the back. That's where he is right now. And if you're if you're the kind of person that enjoys those kinds of things too, you know, it's a perfect fit because they fit easily into the car. They don't take up a lot of space. Um, you know, I plan on doing a road trip out to Calgary later on this year, so I'm definitely gonna be vlogging that. But if you guys want to see a video on what it's like to travel in air with a full-grown Frenchie, then drop me a comment down below because I'm curious to know if there's other people out there that want to know um, if it's possible and how to do it. I already did a video on how to travel with a Frenchie with the, one of the puppies that I dropped off. And if you haven't seen that video, then I'm going to drop a link up here for you guys to go check out. Or maybe it's this side. I don't know. But it's going to be up there up at the top. Go check it out. It's a great video. I think no it is a great video because it's got a lot of views on it <laughs> but you should get definitely go check it out and yeah so I'm about to order my coffee and then we're gonna get downtown hi can I get a medium black coffee double cup please always double cup pardon me yep that's all I always gotta get a double cup of Zega since in pants. But no, really, it's far, far too like hot to drink coffee in a single cup that's black, has no cream in it. Cause the cream does like help. Anyways, we gotta get going. Is this guy gonna go? Should I give him a little friendly honk? Let's give him a little friendly one. There you are. Keep your eyes on the road. And right now my eyes is on the prize which is my coffee so anyways I gotta go well we gotta go let's carry this let's continue this video all right so they're still doing some work in the other room before I could get in there and start taking some pictures for my own project and what I love about them is that they love people and they love other dogs especially bigger breeds if they had to pick between a small breed to play with and a large breed like a great dane nine times out of ten they're gonna pick uh the larger breed to play with um i don't know why it's just in their nature but they're super playful they're super friendly they're super goofy and they just get along with everyone and it's one of the best things that i love about them so it kind of looks like they're wrapping up now. So I'm going to head into the other room and start setting up for our photo shoot. And we'll pick up this video in just a minute. Okay, we got his photos done. So. They're great companion dogs, without a doubt. Um, I'm so thankful that I have him in my life um, because I don't even know what it would be like without him. If you're a single person, guy or girl, living alone and you're looking for a companion dog, French Bulldog by far, hands down, is probably the best breed in my opinion. Maybe I'm being a little bit biased or bi, whatever. Obviously, I struggle with speech, but Maybe I'm in favor of the French Bulldog because I own one. I really do truly feel that they're an amazing companion dog because they are just so full of life. Such a big personality. They're truly like kids. They're funny, they're goofy, and it really comes in hand on days that like I'm having a stressful day because of work. Things are not going the way that they should. They're just really good, affectionate dog. But anyways, I still got a bit of work to do still here. I gotta get my pictures done. I gotta get um, some pictures with Fuli, so I'm gonna get back to work. Sit. Sit. I'm just super, super excited right now. Hello? Hi, it's me. Hi. We're... You don't sound excited. Well, I'm in the middle of filming and now you're going to be oh, able... I'm so sorry. I'll talk to you later. 
<laughs> no, it's okay. You're going to be a part of the video now. <laughs> All right, that's a wrap for us for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys got something out of it and you guys see what I see in the French Bulldog. If you guys like this video, let me know down in the comments. Do you guys enjoy these vlog format videos? Um, let me know if you guys wanna see more of them. If you guys aren't following us on Instagram, make sure you do so. The handle is my possum Frenchie and make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified of the next video. And until then, enjoy these videos. Goodbye.